Hello YouTube, Main Baron 68 here. I've got uh, a hatcher that I bought at an auction. It was built for ostrich eggs. And it was hooked up with an old, I guess what they call a diaphragm thermostat. And it didn't work anymore. So the guy sold it and I bought it at an auction. I paid a premium for a hatcher that doesn't work. But it's a big hatcher. And it's got all the components to work. So what I did was I bought a digital controller. And we're going to be installing a digital controller into this old system. And I wanted to bring you along and show you how to retro an old system. I didn't video taking the old system apart but it didn't work anyway so what I'm just going to do is take the case the cabinet that has the heating element and the fan uh, and I've already took all the controls out of it so what I'm going to do is just bring it all back together now but the problem is it's a 10 amp the heating element there's two of them in there two heating elements I'm quite sure that it'll go over 10 amps so what I did was I bought a relay with a heat sink. This relay is a 25 amp AC to AC relay. So what I'm gonna do is hook it in series with this. I'm not an electrician, but we're gonna try this and see if it works. I know enough about electricity to get shocked. <laughs> I know enough about fire to get burned, but we get by, you know what I mean? I don't know if you can see this or not, but this is the heat element. It looks like a screen door spring. But, um, the way this thing works, it has a baffle here running all the way down with a hole in the bottom and it pulls up air from the bottom and this air through this fan blows across these heat elements. Here's the wires. These two wires here just simply run the fan motor. These four wires here are for the two heat elements. Two hook on this side and two hook on that side. I'll just have a controller wire going from the controller actually and have the relay back here in the back box. So what I've done is cut this out so that the controller can fit in it like this. I want the fan to blow continuously. I want the light to be able to be turned on or off independently. I would like to be able to control the temperature, just the temperature with this. Instead of the old diaphragm, being right here like this that was fine 50 years ago <laughs> for today we're going to use digital we're going to bring it up into the modern century so what I'm going to do is put that there cut a hole out slide this in there have those controls there that control there thank God for fast forward My dad always gave me a good advice. He said, don't tighten up anything till you get all the bolts in. For an amateur job, not too bad. Okay, I'm going to uh, now set about the daunting task of running wire. I'm going to have to drill some holes. I'm going to have to pull some new wire. I'm going to go ahead and get it all set up. Then when I make the connections, I'll bring you back and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll update you from there. Okay, what I've got so far is I have both of the heat elements attached right here. Now I've got to bring a, a, a main lead in here so that when this turns on it will activate it. The black and green on that one wire is 
the control wires. Now the white from that drop cord, it just goes here. It's, gonna be, it's the common for the fan and it's the common for the heater. I'm sitting here working away and I'm thinking, should have the camera on. <laughs> The way I'm going to do this, this switch is not only going to turn the fan on, it's going to add power to this. Okay, main power cord coming in. All the black chips together. This goes here. Now when you turn this switch on, it turns the fan on, but it also turns this unit on. I have to have a common going here to have the system come on. Okay, the way this hooks up here, you gotta have a power wire coming in and a common. Then you, you need a power wire going into, and this controller basically is a relay. And it interrupts between here. If this thing turns it off, power can't go out. If this thing turns it on, power can go out. When this light switch is on, boom, fan should come on. Power coming over here and to the relay side of the controller. Now the commons are all tied together here, which means the common comes in here. The other switch will turn on a light. All right, believe it or not, folks, it works. All of the commons are together, except for the common for the relay. Common for the relay is separate. This is the power, the main power cord coming in to the relay, solid state relay, and this goes out to the heaters. This bottom one is the power wire coming in from the receptacle. The one, that one there is the control wire. Now the way I have this wired up, your hots all are together and go to the bottom of this switch. Out of this switch, the hot goes over here to the power wire side then this is your common right here. This one is the common. It comes up here and all the commons are hooked together. All of these, these are not commons, these are hots. These hots, when this switch is open, when this main is on, it gives power to both the controller and over here, which this wire here goes out to over here. Now, this wire going up here, temperature control or the thermal coupler. All right, this switch is the main. It turns everything on. It's a 20 amp switch. So you turn that on, that comes on, that comes on, and it shows you it's set to 99 degrees and it's currently 97. The heating element's on. How we know the heating element's on, there's a red light on right there. The heating element's off. So what I've done here is taken an old ostrich hatcher that they also use for an incubator. Um, it's got shelves. Anyway, these shelves hold a bunch of eggs. Oh, I've only got two shelves, but I need to make four more. I could theoretically put 600 eggs in this thing. That's a bunch. These are the clips that holds the controller in place. Voila! So all I have to do now is put the lid on it and it'll be ready to go. Oh boy, that took more time than I thought it would. It's functioning now. When we bought it, 
It was just a box. Remember I said these are vents? Okay, things cranking right on up. Of course here, that pan, you fill up with water. There's the shelves. Wham, bam, it's done, ma'am. Of course, honestly, I, I wouldn't have done it if I, had, I thought it would work. But it's still a nice surprise when things actually work. All right, the ostrich hatcher is finished. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really do. I put the, the reason I did this video is for you. What I'm trying to do with this video is to help you. Watch this video, rewind it, it works. And if this guy can do it, you can do it. I hope you enjoy this video, and uh, I do appreciate you watching. Take time to comment and click the like button. And while you're at it, think about it. Uh, subscribe because, hey, we're in this thing together. That's what community is, right? We're helping one another. So, Name Bearing 68 here. Take care. Take care of you and yours. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. God bless.